But, you know, Martin's quite an interesting example in a way because, as you know, there's been a lot of internet rumours about him supposedly He's signing... I never answered your question, did I? No, <laughs> but carry on, yeah, yeah we might remember, yeah. You know, for, there's a lot of stuff about him signing a, a, this WWE contract, which supposedly is, is what he's gone and done. And it there's, is. you know, some people saying there's an element of truth to this idea that he's one of those guys who's just yeah. used British wrestling no, it, as I a mean, stepping stone. Is, okay, that, is that true? It, it, you know, he's used British wrestling as a stepping stone as much as a guy goes to McDonald's and work, even if he gets his five gold stars, uh, so that he can pay for his college education to go and be a criminal psychologist. Did he use McDonald's? No, it's, it's a contra deal. It's a contra deal, you know? Whatever his personal philosophy, listen, okay? The problem we have, I, start, I went to India to write a book called The Unholy Babble. Do you know why I stopped? Because seven chapters in, I suddenly realised it became really preachy. And I have a tendency, as you can tell, to be a little bit preachy. But I don't mind preaching about stuff I know to be right, okay? With wrestling and the way it needs to go, I believe that it's fair for me to say that we are doing the right thing. Why? Because if we're the only company insuring our guys and actually setting up a trust fund for injured wrestlers and trying to find a way to get wrestlers, uh, young wrestlers into get young wrestlers trained in a safe way, I feel that I, after 20 years almost in this industry, I can turn around and coming through these unregulated, you know, we'll talk about that in a second, but Hammerlock and Andre Baker's funeral and all this kind of stuff, I, I've seen the worst of the worst, right? So I feel that more than Vince McMahon or Hulk Hogan, you know, these people came into the business and they had it pr pretty much ready-made. I know Vince went through a lot of stuff, but he already had his father's loop to sort of inherit, okay? And Hogan's success came within the first, what, five, six years of his career. You know, they didn't go to these places where they were abused as children and, and, and forced to take drugs at 14 years of age to stay awake and, and slave labour. So I've seen what happens when these things aren't put in place. So yeah, that gives me... That gives me not carte blanche, but that gives me a fair say when it comes to what is being done correctly and what isn't. And I believe what we're doing is, is being done correctly. Now, back to what you said, that the reason I, I stopped the unholy babble was because I can't talk about the wider picture, OK? I can't talk about the wider world. I can have conspiracy theories of how this works and that works. It doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. I'll never know. There's certain things that you're just not meant to know, OK? But what I do know is that People are entitled to their opinion. End of story. No one is, is able to tell you your opinion is wrong, okay? You can say to somebody, I completely disagree, when it's something that they're an expert in, okay? So you go to a doctor and the doctor says, no, I'm telling you it's cancer, I've got the x-ray. And you go, no, 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 it's not. It's a bruise. Then you're wrong, okay? But when it comes to an opinion and what British wrestling should be used for is an opinion that can't be backed up by fact. Because until we make it, until we get it to that level, we are the ones who are wrong telling these guys you can't view British wrestling as a stepping stone because that's all it's proved to be for the last 20 years at least. So in terms of what you want British wrestling to be, you, you know, you want it to be a model of the right way to do pro wrestling, if you like, for the rest of the world. Yeah. What then is wrong with the pro wrestling world that needs to be fixed? What's wrong with the American industry, for example? Well, I mean, I'm going to, uh, and before we get to that, because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be uh, expelled, so to speak. And, and I will stand up and say some stuff uh, that hopefully it will get the message across. But before that, back to the storyline, because I feel it's important to say, <clears throat> the agenda storyline is part fact, part fiction. There are elements to this storyline that people will not believe. People will not, this storyline will change wrestling. You can mark my words now. This will be, books will be written about this, okay? And I've said stuff, we will run the Coventry Skydome, and in 2001, when I said that, it sounded ridiculous. In 2004, when we run it, not so ridiculous. In 2005, when I sold it out, even less ridiculous. Uh, you know, di I did it again. In fact, run it four times, sold it out twice, okay? The only time I didn't sell it out the middle time is because he booked the same venue seven days, uh, seven days after me and pulled off some, some of my talent, okay? Which was, you know, it was very, very big of them. I was 25, they're a multi-billion dollar corporation. So what? Council Estate, Greenwich, Connecticut. Anyway, fine. We'll get to them in a second. But, but I understand that this storyline is important because it, 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 it's, it's popular culture right now. It's popular culture. Is there a big conspiracy behind it all? It, you know, um, and, and that's down, for, down to the audience. You know, maybe we'll get to a point where fans won't... It's not a fan's fault that they have got nothing to discuss in a forum about other than whether or not a wrestling match is five stars. Why are fans jaded? Because wrestling's shit. I'm sorry, but wrestling's become shit. Oh, but this angle was good, Alex. I mean, you, you got... What, so you're now telling me wrestling's good because you can bring up one angle in the last five years that, that put hairs on your nuts. Do you know what I mean? The wrestling's become... To it, you know, look at the last Monday Night Wars that we had, right? You've got Brett on one talking about Montreal and you've got 
fucking NWO again. How, how far have we come in 10 years? We haven't. We're 10 years, we're behind every other form of entertainment. We're not tapping into popular culture. Just because you get a new GM on Raw doesn't mean you're tapping into popular culture. It means you're prostituting wrestling for celebrity, which I know it brought you to the dance before. Uh, I don't know what's going on that. Sounds like a car's blowing up outside. Uh, but I, knew that, I know that brought you to the dance before, but y you've already been made. You know, all you're doing is you're, you're cheapening wrestling. It's like putting the belt on David Arquette. I know that it's, you know, people go, oh, Alex, it's not that bad, is it? You know, you bring different ce celebrities. No, you're doing that because you don't know how else to sell your product. So wrestling is shit. I'm sorry, it is. There's some shining lights, okay? Ring of Honor, like their product. TNA, like their house shows, okay? I'm just gonna tell it like it is. I don't, if it pisses people off. I think TNA has the potential to be the alternative, to be the alternative, I believe. This is the resistance and we need your help. FWA is Europe's most exciting wrestling promotion. Be part of the British wrestling revolution by going to www.fwauk.com. Frontier Wrestling Alliance, crossing the frontiers of British wrestling for over a decade. What a show of honour between two of the best of their generation. And what a night. I have goosebumps running up and down my arm here in the Broxbourne Civic Hall.